today I want to use some household products to, to stain a guitar to uh, try to avoid using chemicals. So we're going to use some coffee and then we're going to use some uh, steel wool mixed with some distilled white vinegar. Uh, so first of all, the distilled white vinegar and the uh, steel wool get combined into a jar. Let it sit outside for a while, uh, probably about three days to melt together, fuse together, get some of the fumes out. Um, the coffee is good to go as soon as it's cooled. So let's start with the coffee test. Uh, we let it cool and now we're just going to go ahead and just rub it right in. I'm using a Les Paul body here. Uh, I believe this is a Mucilady uh, Les Paul body. And uh, let's see how it goes. So I'm just using a paper towel, nothing fancy, and some cold coffee. So we're just going to rub it right in. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Uh, take your time, try to cover every square inch. Um, uh, be liberal, you know, with, with the, the coffee. Uh, make sure that you, you use enough to make sure that the whole entire body looks wet. And I didn't do any prep work to this body beforehand. I didn't do any sanding. I didn't remove excess glue. I really wanted to see how the stains would handle that. Would they highlight the excess glue? Would it blend right in? Uh, so don't be surprised if this really does bring out some of the more ugly sides of the, the DIY kits. I know a lot of people would just use Minwax to get a, a deeper, darker coloration, um, but Minwax does have a little bit of a fume to it, a little bit of scent. Um, it takes a while to dry. Uh, it can be messy if you have a, an apartment. You might not have the ability to use, you know, some oil stain or, you know, even some like the Angelus, the leather dyes. Uh, it might just not be feasible. So that's why I really wanted to just use things that you probably have laying around the house already. Um, so we did our first coat. We're going to do the sides. We're going to do the back. And we're going to also just go ahead and... Uh, do probably two coats on here to make sure that it gets a, a good saturation and give it a, a good opportunity to to really soak in and, and color the wood. I'd also say don't expect very deep, deep, dark colors here with uh, a natural stain like this. Just using something like coffee or the the uh, vinegar and steel wool, um, you might be able to get a little bit darker using a ton of coats. But it really just is more to enhance the wood that you already have, uh, make it look a little bit older, maybe a little bit uh, more distinct, bring out the patterns a little bit. You can already see it's kind of bringing out the flame top a little bit more. But, you know, I would never expect this to get as dark as the coffee. I do feel like the, the back of the guitar uh, got a little nice color going on it, a uh, really natural looking color. Um, I like the back of it a lot more than the, the flame top and who, who knows what they're doing on the, the flame tops here. So uh, they, they may have put something on top of it, may not have soaked in, but uh, just on a slab of wood, you will get a nice little bit of darkening with the coffee. Um, I'm not sure that I would ever use it again on, on the flame top though, like I said. Really one of the best parts of this is, you know, you're done in an hour. Uh, let it dry in there for an hour and, and clean up is easy. If you spill a little bit of it, you know, it's no big deal. You know, spill a little bit of coffee on the counter, nothing. Uh, the, the Angelus dye or one of the oil stains, you know, if you, you spill that stuff, you, you got a little bit of a problem. Um, you better have some good stuff for cleanup. So we're right around that hour mark. And uh, you can tell that it picked up a little bit of color. It did highlight some of the uh, the flame top. Uh, you can see the before here pretty plain compared to that. So it did give it some character, brought out a little bit of the character of the wood, I should say. Um, it's not bad. So, so let's take a look at the vinegar and steel wool. Really easy to do. You fill up a little jar with some uh, white vinegar. You put your um, steel wool in there. Don't use a like SOS pad because it has the soap and chemicals on there. I'm not sure what that would do, but uh, I'm guessing it would hinder it a little bit. Uh, so just a plain piece of steel wool with no soap on it. Uh, put in the vinegar two, three days. Put it outside because it does stink a little bit. Leave it uncovered and let it all melt together. You can see that there's still a little bit of steel wool on top. It doesn't fully disintegrate. Uh, it may have if I left it in there for a few more days. This was about three days sitting in the garage. Um, 
and then same basic principle just take it dip a paper towel into it go to town on the guitar I did two nice coats on here front and back and uh, it's a little bit different result than the coffee the coffee was nice subtle gave it a little bit of coloration aged it a little bit the vinegar really you can see it forming already at the bottom there uh, it brought out all the glue spots, a lot of the imperfections. Uh, it really, really did a number. You can even see some some wetness coming out of, of the bottom there. And it looks like the vinegar may have melted some of the glue. Uh, I don't know what they were using, but we got some pretty gnarly results here. So just like the coffee, we gave this about an hour to dry. And it really had some weird effects on the wood. Uh, this is not fully dried yet. It's still drying at this point. Um, but you can see some of the black blotches come in. I don't know what the black blotches were. There wasn't anything on the guitar. Um, it didn't do it everywhere, just certain parts, which makes me think oil or glue or something like that from the factory had kind of melted from the vinegar. So here it is after an hour. And it really looks like it could kind of suck the life out of the guitar. <laughs> Um, it aged it, I guess, but it really brought out any imperfection, any blemish, any glue spot. Uh, and for that reason alone, I would say that it's probably not the best thing to use for a, a kit guitar, especially a cheaper one where who knows what they're doing in the factories. So uh, I like the coffee, not a big fan of the vinegar. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and go ahead and subscribe.